Welcome top news today. World 1038 the 12th of May 2017 updated 1110 the 12th of May 2017 get short URL US President Donald Trump's much anticipated decision on the status of Jerusalem has sounded alarm bells in the Middle East and beyond. Hussam Zamlat, the top representative of the Palestine Liberation Organization PLO in the U.S., has warned Washington not to recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital, which he said will have catastrophic consequences and prompt a strategic and political response from the PLO, according to Iran's press TV news agency. That would be actually the kiss of death to the Twa State solution because Jerusalem is at the very heart of the Twa State solution, Zamlat was quoted as saying by press TV. He was echoed by Saudi ambassador to the U.S., Prince Khalid bin Salman, who said that Washington's move with respect to the status of Jerusalem would have a detrimental impact on the peace process and would heighten tensions in the region. Read more Trump has no appreciation of impacts from recognizing Jerusalem as capital French President Emmanuel Macron has, for his part, expressed concern over President Trump's possible move related to Jerusalem's status, according to a statement issued by the French government. Macron also underscored that the status of Jerusalem must be resolved through peace negotiations between Israelis and Palestinians, and particularly those relating to the establishment of two states, Israel and Palestine, living side by side in peace and security with Jerusalem as their capital. Earlier, Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas cautioned that the White House's decision on Jerusalem may hamper the peace process and is unacceptable for Palestinians, Arabs and internationally. Late last week, Trump's son in law and senior advisor Jared Kusher said that the U.S. president was allegedly close to a decision on the recognition of Jerusalem as Israel's capital. Israeli diplomacy is going all in trying to stop Trump moving the U.S. embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. For obvious reasons Israel's official position is to encourage the move but behind the scenes the Israeli government is desperately fighting against it. Christian Eder, Sismoratus 4 2017 in November 1947, the UN approved a plan stipulating the partition British-controlled Palestine into an Arab state and a Jewish state, with Jerusalem being established as a separated body with a special political status. Despite international support for the Twa state solution, hopes for its implementation were dashed during the 194,748 Civil War and 1948 Arab-Israeli War. We are deeply concerned about the reports that Trump administration is planning to recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital. This is another example of his Islamophobic attitude just like his final retweets. This will certainly be akin to playing with fire. Ahmed Davitolu at Ahmed. Davitolu 1 2017. Russia, China, India, most of the countries of South America and all predominantly Muslim nations recognize Palestinian statehood. In 2012, the United Nations General Assembly voted overwhelmingly to accord Palestine non-member observer state status, with only the U.S., Canada, Israel, the Czech Republic, Panama and four other countries voting against the move. Read more Palestine Envoy warns U.S. of Intifada if Trump declares Jerusalem Israeli capital the PLO demands that Israel should withdraw from the Palestinian territories that it seized during the Six-Day War in 1967, when Israel proclaimed its ownership over East Jerusalem. Jerusalem was declared the unified capital of Israel in 1980 in a move that was never recognized by the majority of UN states and international organizations.